chance of life make it pure. Let all mankind be humble. Let all repeat the chant of life. You ate my entire bag of herbs, you foolish dog. Do not think I am unaware of where it went. It is your own fault for being so entirely gluttonous. Several of those herbs were poisonous. You wish something more of me. My preference is death and battle. Failing that, I will wait for the Darkspawn. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Farewell, then. A penitent man left to be torn to pieces by Darkspawn. just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a dwarf by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen one. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Right, let's make this quick. Enemy! They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. Please wait! They have surrendered. They were no match for you. Let them be. But they failed, and I do not wish death on anyone. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. I wasn't born in the Chantry, you know. Many of us had more colorful lives before we joined. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. The Maker told me to. He is not just my God. The Maker has love for all. I... I know you may not believe, but... I had a dream, a vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair, and this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. Uh, 
Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Indeed. As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orlais. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once more. The Blackstone Irregulars fought alongside the King's army against Orlais. We've helped nobles defend their land and given our service to people in need for generations. Our current captain, Railnor, is an honorable man who sees that we can do some good in Ferelden once more. He is so confident in our mission that he trusted the Grey Wardens would support us. Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Taurat, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. Thank you. When you've comp... Make us blessings light your path. You're here about food. Take it up with that blade run by the Chantry. I've got other gear to sell. You did? Well, I don't know what to say to that. Thanks. You're here about food. I've got other gear to sell. Very well. Did you see the new recruiters out? Well, I'd keep your voice down if I were you. They're pressing anyone who can hold a sword into service. So let's talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. Is there something I can do for you, then? Again? We have already discussed this, and I told you I would not release the creature. And what do you say on this, Liliana? You know your friend better than I. These are... Unusual times, Your Reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. It shall be done. Tell me something, Morrigan. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? 
Is that so strange? It was my home. But it was just you and your mother there. No one else. You wish something more of me. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Then I will find it myself. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. I shall do it. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. I don't know. I doubt it. I've never liked it, that's for sure. I told you before how Al Eamon raised me, right? That my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in? The reason he did that was because... Well... Because my father was King Marek. Which made Kaelin my... Half-brother, I suppose. Ha! Yes, I guess it does at that. I should use that line more often. I, I would have told you, but... It never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a Grey Warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. And that's fine by me. Now, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh, no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Great Wardens. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. Somehow I just know it.
thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? So you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I... I... I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news. Still alive, yes. Though not for long if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Some call them the walking dead, decomposing corpses, returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. They hit again the next night. Each night they come, with greater numbers. With Caelan dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. I know Alistair, and I trust those he chooses to travel with. What do you say? How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. What do you wish of me? If you must. <laughs> you are very cute to ask so many questions. Really? Perhaps we should be wrapped in ribbons and adorned with flowers. So cute are we, too. <laughs> My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. 
Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. I am unsure. I was too young to understand, and perhaps it was bravado on Flemeth's part, or perhaps she was merely amused. I will never know. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait, <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. Sometimes, eventually. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. Perhaps they did. Still, I do not begrudge them doing what they believe is necessary. The Chantry sees any mages not leashed to the Circle of Magi as apostates. And apostates could become Maleficarum, evil mages that resort to blood magic and become demon-enslaved abominations. It may even be true, still, those of us who prefer freedom see no reason to submit. Thank you for small favors, then, at the very least. Enough of this talk. Let us return to the task at hand. Yes? Well, here I am. What is meant by someone like me? Did you think I was always a cloistered sister? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. The Chantry does not pride, and you should. I desired time apart from the world. I was a traveling minstrel in Orlais. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. Let us pray. Why haven't Muslim father Blessed art thou yet? who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed They're art gone. thou who seeks his return. Gone. Blessed is the prophetess. I'm scared, mother. One of the bad men comes. Sorry, am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. I'll just stay out of your way, sir. Don't mind me, Nan. I'm so scared, Father. What are we going to do? You know, we don't have the men. No sign of them coming back from the castle. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the king. We aren't gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Yes, well, I haven't given up hope. Not yet, anyway. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. The militia will do what it can, but don't get your hopes up. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want to surprise... ...is attack before the sun goes down. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Pray, and hope for a miracle. There are many great tales of lost kings who return to their lands to reign in glory. I am not lost. 
nor for that matter a king. And there's nothing glorious about me. You are Merrick's son. You are the rightful king of Ferelden. I am the son of a starstruck maid and an indiscreet man who just happened to be king. <sighs> Look, I can't be king. Some days I have trouble figuring out which boot goes on which foot. Complete fools are made leaders of kingdoms all the time. And you're not a complete fool. What an up... So relief. And don't worry about the... ...boots. Kings don't need to dress themselves. That's what advisors are for, isn't it? And starstruck maids, apparently. Yes, what can I do for you? Very well. Why do you always go on about how stupid I am? I'm not stupid, am I? If you need to ask a question... Because it hurts my manly feelings, you know. Or one of them. Then I'll be sure to write you an apology once all of this is over. I was educated by the Chantry. I studied history. They don't make stupid Templars. Then I must have been mistaken. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit I am unfamiliar with addressing a dwarf of your station. I do not wish to be rude. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes, perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle, or perhaps I would be dead. Ah well, with the Great Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The urn of sacred ashes is a legendary artifact set to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinta and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. I wonder if they perished there, or were transformed into these... things. The thought chills my blood. We were never certain. He thirsted for water, and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Alessa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. As you wish. We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. That gladdens my heart to hear it. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. No word from the castle? I shall do. Very well. As you say. <laughs> 